Hey guys, Braden 92 here, bringing you another playthrough of Brutal Doom. Now, the last time I played Brutal Doom for you guys was just a typical run through to show you what it was like for those who didn't know uh, what Brutal Doom was. But this time, I'm going to show you how to play Brutal Doom right. And by playing it right, I mean playing it on the hardest difficulty level possible. And that's playing it on realism mode. And realism mode is just absolutely nuts. Like, you can't just go Leroy Jenkins or you're not going to get anywhere. Like, I managed to beat all, all four episodes of Ultimate. Um, I managed to beat Hell on Earth which is the second game. Um, Plutonia Experiment, TNT. So I've basically beaten all of the original Doom on realism mode. So once I changed the original difficulties back to, like, Hurt Me Plenty and things like that, it seems so easy. So, I will show you just how badass these demons are. Yeah, good old fashioned music. A YouTuber named Erock331 did an awesome cover of this song right now. That's blank. I highly recommend you check him out. I think he uploads every week or so. So my first tip, if you ever want to try this difficulty, is take things very slow. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah, it's at the middle I can move a little quicker since I'm I'm used to it, but even I can't just frickin' blaze through. Oh, you little bastard, you're not up there anymore? He's falling off. It's normally he's up on top there, so that's why I was aiming upwards. But yeah, you see the zombies moving way quicker than usual? His enemies way faster, their their accuracy is way higher. Um they fire way quicker. Like the imps they normally could only like shoot a fireball once every two seconds or something. But these guys now on, on realism mode they can just rapid fire their fireballs. You get two or three imps in a room Good luck trying to dodge them all. If you don't have armor, you're taking off four, like, half your life easy with one fireball, sometimes more. My next tip... Oh god, I hate this area. But yeah, my next tip would be have very, very fast reflexes. And, um, and make all your shots count. And save often. Know your maps inside and out, like. Like, no enemy placements. Reload, like, often, like, super often.
Like some of these may seem like redundant. Like you might be saying, "Well, friggin' rebel, why would you, why would you forget to save often or reload often or yada yada yada?" Well, you'd be surprised how often I forget how to do that on the lower difficulty levels when you're not really thinking about it because you're going slower and all that, so you're not firing all that much. So when you finally do run into a room of guys that are just like tons of them, and you're shooting, and then all of a sudden you run into a room and all of a sudden you're out of bullets, and it's like, oh shit. <clears throat> oh, that's right too, I've got the right key hit. Derp and derp. So, this, playing on this difficulty really reminds you to reload. Oh, uh, what side am I on? Ooh, that was close. If I was any further, I would have gotten blown up. Yeah, good luck surviving the exploded barrels in this one. Also in this, you can get what are called cruelty bonuses. So if you can like blow off an arm or something. Um, and you kind of have them like crying out in pain or whatever, and you like kill them after that, you'll get like five life or something like that. Yeah, try and get that as much as possible because you can actually go above 100% life and that like helps so much. Also get grenades in this one. Ooh, demon room. Not that that really helps in this one. Ouch. Yeah, your fists are pretty much useless on this difficulty level, even with the demon room. See, like this part. There's like two or three guys here. So this is where these come in handy. Or actually, no. This, I want to save that, actually, for the next part. Just remember. See, now down here, there's like 10 guys. If you just go down here, we're going to try and gun it. You're going to get wasted real quick. So, real good uh, strategy is just to go on there. Just enough to get it to go. Throw that in there. Blow up most of them. Hopefully all of them. And now you don't have to worry about it. The grenades are your best, best friend. I cannot, I cannot uh, begin to mention how many times I, I was saved because of my grenades. I never liked them before, but once I played, started playing on this difficulty level, I've got a new love for my grenades. See, like that, and she reloaded it. Now see what happened, I got my ass kicked because of it. No, 
Uh, if you can figure out the layouts of your maps, you'll you'll be able to do this difficulty just fine. Okay, I get you. Oh, I did, you son of a sneaky son of a bitch. Yeah, you gotta be very aware of that. They'll they'll sneak up on you. So like right there, there's tons of guys in there. So that's where you'd normally throw a grenade, but unfortunately I'm out of grenades from the last level, so. You normally get your grenades from your uh, shotgunners and your zombie men. So I'm a little quick, moving a little quickly right now, a lot quickly, quicker than I should be. So I'm gonna see if I can finish this level before my time runs out. Since I've only got about two minutes. Make it though, especially now that I'm only at 20. Let's save just in case. Ah, oh, move the wrong way. Yeah, see. Oh, well, that didn't do it very good. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do it. But, anyways, that's what uh, Nightmare Mode is, or Realism Mode is. Basically, my tips are... Yeah, there we go. Be patient, take things slow, save often, like make sure you know what your ammo is, is at, grenades are your best friend, make sure you have really good accuracy, make everything, every sh uh, shot count, and yeah, you should survive. And know the layout of your map, but until then, Keep enjoying anime, anime for life. <laughs>